exercise 9 page 234 in ellipse E is an ellipse of focus F and directrix D. O F Q B is a rectangle. We want to prove that O Q is perpendicular to Q K and we want to prove that Q belongs to the auxiliary circle which is a circle of center O and radius O A. First we have the coordinates of O, R00, F0, B, 0B, so the coordinates of Q, R, C, B. Also, K belong, belongs to the directrix, X equal A square over C, then the coordinates of K are A square over C, 0. We calculate the vector Q, K, and the vector OQ. Then we find the scalar product OQ dot KQ which is C times C minus A square over C plus B square which is C square minus A square plus B square and don't forget that C square equals A square minus B square then OQ dot KQ equals to zero. And then OQ is perpendicular to QK. Second, we want to prove that Q belongs to the auxiliary circle, so we must prove that OQ equals to A. We find the distance OQ, which is a radical C square plus B square, and C square equals A square minus B square, then it is a radical A square, which is A, then Q belongs to the auxiliary circle which is the circle drawn in red color. Exercise 10. Construct the foci and the directrices of an ellipse given its vertices. So we have this ellipse and we have the vertices of this ellipse. We want to construct the foci and the directrices and we must use the results of exercise 9. We proved in exercise 9 that OQ belong, is perpendicular to QK and we proved that Q belongs to auxiliary circle of the ellipse. First, we have A and A prime. O is the midpoint of a a prime so we get the center of this ellipse now we want to locate the point q we prove that q belongs to the auxiliary circle so we draw the auxiliary circle which is circle of center o and radius o a this is the auxiliary circle Q is a point on this circle, but we cannot precise the position of Q. But we know that O, B, a Q, F is a rectangle. So, B, F, so B, Q is perpendicular to B, O. In other words, a Q belongs to a line passing through B and perpendicular to B, O. So, we draw the line D which passes through B and perpendicular to BO. Then the point Q is the intersection of this circle with this line. So, we get the point Q. Now, F is the orthogonal projection of Q on the line AA prime. So, we get the point F. F prime is the symmetric of f with respect to the origin so we get the point f prime now we want to construct the directrix uh, don't forget that oq is perpendicular to qk so we draw a line l line l passes through q 
and the perpendicular to OQ. This line cuts the focal axis at the point K. So we get the point K. The directrix D passes through K and it is perpendicular to AA prime. So we get the directrix D and the other directrix D prime can be obtained by the symmetry with respect to O. Exercise 11. Construct the principal vertices and the directrices of an ellipse given its center O, focus F, and a secondary vertex, a secondary vertex, for example, it is B. Okay. Also, this exercise depends on exercise 9. Now, we have O, F, Q, B is a rectangle. So by completing this rectangle, we get the point Q. Now, we construct the segment OQ and we draw the line which is perpendicular to OQ and passes through Q. This line cuts the line OF cuts the line OF in point K. So we got the point K and the directrix is a line passing through K and perpendicular to the line OF and that second directrix can be obtained by symmetry. Now we want to construct the principal vertex A. We know that Q belongs to the auxiliary circle which is a circle of center O and radius OA. Since Q belongs to the auxiliary circle and we have the center of this auxiliary circle we can draw this auxiliary circle. This auxiliary circle cuts the line OF in two points A and A prime so we get the vertices and the last vertex B prime is the symmetry of B with respect to O. Exercise 12 In this exercise we want to construct the vertices given its center a focus and given one directrix. Now, let K be the intersection between the line D and OF. We get the point K. We know that OQ and KQ are perpendicular from exercise 9. So angle OQK equals to 90. If OQK equals to 90, we cannot precise the exact position of Q, but we can know that Q belongs to a circle of diameter OK. I will draw this circle which the circle in green Q is a point on this circle now we draw a line passing through F and perpendicular to the line OF Then a Q is the intersection between the green circle and this line. We get the point Q. Given OF and Q, and using that OF QB is a rectangle, 
we can get the point B and B prime can be constructed by symmetry with respect to O let's construct the vertex A we have the center O and we have a Q is a point on the auxiliary circle so we can draw this auxiliary circle this auxiliary circle cuts the line OF at the points A and A prime and for the second directrix D prime it can be obtained by symmetry 